Hi, this is uh, Dr. Arun Santati. Welcome to Santati Eye Hospital. Today, I'll be just sharing a few do's and don'ts after uh, cataract surgery. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to thank you for uh, choosing Santati Eye Hospital for your eye care. You have trusted one of the most important sense organs of your body with us. Uh, immediately after the surgery, it is normal to have slight uh, blurred vision, slightly fluctuating vision, and intolerance to bright light, slight irritation, watering, and redness. So you don't have to really get panicked about these things. But if you're really worried, you can always consult uh, your doctor once. Uh, three most important things to avoid is to our, uh, one is the rubbing of the eyes, second is putting water into the eyes, and third is exposure to dust and fumes. So these are very, very critical uh, post-operative dooms. We should never be doing these things. Uh, rubbing of the eyes, it's very, very important because most of our surgeries are done with a micro incision surgery. The wound heals very nicely without any problem. But however, if you put excessive pressure on the eye, sometimes it may leak and the contents may come out. And sometimes even it may cause little uh, displacement of the lens, which has been fixed. So it's very important not to rub your eyes for at least one month after the surgery. Second important thing is not to put water into the eyes, means face wash. So face wash normally we suggest after one week because uh, if you put a sterile water, nothing happens to the uh, eye, it's uh, safe. But however, uh, we cannot trust the water because there may be contamination in the normal water we use in our household. So if there is an infection, it can cause serious problems. So at least one week, uh, try to avoid uh, putting water into the eye, means the face wash, as well as the head bath. So head bath also you can resume after one week. Shaving you can do provided uh, you don't uh, splash water into the eyes. So again, the same thing, water should not get into the eyes. So you can shave and just wipe your face with a uh, wet towel. Cleaning the eyes is very important. So this can be done with uh, sterile tissues available. Uh, these are the eye wipe and UI and other brands are available. The most important thing to remember here is you have to clean from on the lower part and you have to clean from the inside corner of the eye to the outside corner. And you should never put pressure on the eyeball. So very, very important to remember while cleaning, you should never put pressure on the eyeball because again, it can lead to uh, leakage and uh, problems with the wound healing. So uh, this is how uh, cleaning is done. You go from the inner corner to the outer corner and gently without putting any pressure on the eyeball. Combing and uh, oiling the hair can be uh, resumed from the next day itself. But the most important thing is not to miss the drops. So we have given the schedule, the follow up, uh, how we have to use the drops. Uh, first week, it will be like every three hours once, six times in a day. And then uh, the next week, we reduce it to five times. So gradually, we reduce the dosage. So it's very, very important that you follow the uh, schedule. Uh, you should never miss drops because if you miss drops, it will affect the wound healing and can result in problems later. Uh, before putting any eye drops, it's very important to uh, wash your hands. And of course, now, for, thanks to COVID, now everybody is an expert in hand washing. So at least for about 20 seconds, you have to wash with uh, soap and water. And before using the drops, please check the expiry date on the uh, medicine. Never touch the tip of the bottle because that will contaminate the drops. And close the cap immediately after use because if you allow the air to get inside, it may again contaminate the drops. And any eye drop should be used for a duration of one month only after opening. So you just write down the date of opening on the bottle so that you remember when you have opened that and immediately after one month, you need to change the bottle. Installing the drops. So the, uh, the best method is to install in the lower part of the eye. So you just retract the lower lid gently and then put one drop. So one drop is sufficient. If you put more drops, it just gets uh, drain outside, uh, but it doesn't do any harm to the eye, but we'll be wasting the medicine. And uh, some people have little uh, sore uh, throat feeling or irritation or a bitter feeling in the throat after putting the drops. So what you can do is you can just put pressure between the eye and the nose, uh, because that is where this uh, duct is there, which takes the medicine to into the uh, nose and throat. So you can just put pressure in this area so that the medicine doesn't go inside to the throat. And this is the method of installing the drops. So gently retract the lower lid, 
and put one drop and gently close the eyes. Don't squeeze the eyes. Don't put excessive pressure on the eyes. And uh, just close your eyes for one or two minutes after putting the drops. You can either put it on the sleeping position, a lying down position, or uh, sitting also. And over a period of time, you can learn to put the drops on your own also. Protective glasses are given to you basically to avoid dust into the eyes. So you can either use a white glass or a dark glass, depending on your uh, preference. But basically, that is to avoid uh, dust from getting into the eyes. Inside the house, if there is not uh, much dust, you can actually even uh, remove your glasses. It's not necessary to wear the glasses throughout the day. But wearing the glasses for outdoors is very, very important up to one month after the surgery. So when can I start reading uh, and using the mobile is a very, very common question. So if you, are, uh, if you have gone for a monofocal lens implant, then you will not be able to read. You will need near vision glasses. On the other hand, if you have gone for a bifocal lens, you can read uh, clearly even without glasses. Uh, usually we suggest to avoid reading for the first few days because that uh, pressure on the eyes may cause a little uh, discomfort in the eyes. So a few days you try to avoid, but if anything it's urgent, you can still definitely uh, see the, the mobile or the computer. Uh, sleeping on the side of the operated eye, if possible, it is better to avoid for one week, but uh, some people are used to sleeping on one side, so it's okay to sleep. Just probably use a soft pillow so that uh, there is no undue pressure on the eye when you're uh, sleeping. Regarding the physical activities, you can resume physical activities from the next day itself. You can start walking, going for your normal uh, jogging. Uh, mild stretching exercises, bending exercises also can be done. Breathing exercises can be done, but rigorous breathing exercises like kapal bhati and those where the pressure inside the body may increase, it's better to avoid for about uh, one week. Swimming, it's better to avoid for one week, sorry, one month. Swimming, you can restart after one month. Lifting uh, mild weights is uh, permissible immediately after the operation, but lifting heavy weights, it's uh, better to avoid for about one week. Uh, kitchen work, uh, you can start doing uh, small things like making coffee and those things, uh, you can do it uh, from the next day itself. But uh, you should avoid exposure to the fumes, particularly the fumes from the cooker or seasoning and frying things. So those things, if you can avoid, it is better. And here, one important thing I would uh, mention is to avoid cutting onions. You can see this black uh, spots on the onions. So these are all actually the fungus. So this fungus is very, very dangerous because if it gets into the eye, can cause very serious infections. So that's why it's better to avoid cutting onions for at least one month uh, after the surgery. Uh, cleaning the house also, it's better to avoid, uh, means uh, basically sweeping the floor because it can generate dust. So if you have a vacuum cleaner, you can use that. Otherwise, uh, sleep, sweeping with the broom, better to avoid for about one week at least. Driving depends on your comfort. If you're able to see well, you can uh, start from the next day itself. But if you have any doubt, please uh, consult the doctor before you start driving. Cosmetics, it is better to avoid around the eye for about one month after the surgery because most of the cosmetics do contain chemicals and if they get into the eye, can cause serious uh, chemical reactions. So it's better to avoid the cosmetics around the eye for one month after the surgery. And the same thing goes with the hair color also. One month after the surgery, you can uh, do your uh, hair color. Smoking and alcohol, it's definitely better to avoid at least for the first week after the surgery. It's uh, definitely not good. Uh, but there are no dietary restrictions. You can uh, eat whatever you want. Uh, some people say you should not eat hard stuff, but in our uh, surgeries, which are having a very small incision, there is absolutely no problem uh, having your uh, chapatis or rotis or whatever the normal uh, diet uh, you are having. So there is no dietary restrictions uh, as such. But when to contact for urgent care is one is if there is a sudden drop in the vision, means you're able to see well, but suddenly the, one day the vision has reduced, or if there is severe pain and redness, or if there is a discharge in the eye, then immediately you need to see the doctor. Please uh, check the discharge summary in detail uh, for the contact details and all the other instructions. And you also have the instruction sheet uh, with you, which is printed on the back side of the discharge summary. So please go through all the details uh, once again. Do not skip your appointments. Your follow-ups are very, very important because we need to see how the wound is healing. 
each eye is different. The same person, if uh, you have got operated the right eye in one time, the left eye the other time, both eyes may respond differently. So each person will have a different uh, uh, recovery and each eye in the same person also may behave differently. So don't compare yourself with other persons. So there'll be a lot of people giving you advice uh, in the family and friends. You do that, you do that, you don't go out of the house for one month. So there are so many instructions which uh, your friends and relatives may be offering. So please don't uh, worry too much about that. You just follow these instructions, whatever I <coughs> suggested you now. And uh, important is to consult the doctor on time so that uh, any uh, problems are there, it can be tackled in a very early stage instead of uh, waiting for more complications to happen. So with that, uh, once again, I thank you for choosing Samprati Eye Hospital for your eye care and I wish you a very speedy recovery and have a good vision throughout your life. Thank you.